Yeah, so you can buy that to the race one time. The race will start ooh, sometime after the race, probably about like four past half one. Okay? And um, the business ducks, have a look at this forward. Over here, over 100 business ducks sold. All of the money comes into the tune bank of society coffers, and guess what? It all comes back out in events that we do through the year for the village, for us all to come together. And it's been a long time since we've managed to do this. So uh, today is a joyous day. Can you show me your decorated duck, please? Ooh. Wonderful. Are you going to win a hundred pounds? You don't care, do you? That's the announcer's result. Yes. Can we just put the duck down in the age group? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you already done it? I'm about to start. Get them to the judging area. Time for a minute. The duck race is a community event. Uh, to get, get everyone together, particularly after Covid, for us all to kind of celebrate um, being back as a community and um, to re-engage with a kind of a historical event really, because it's been going on in the village for years. Um, so we wanted to get people down here, get children engaged in being a bit creative, get them away from their screens after 18 months and then also support local businesses and have them support us. So it's a really lovely family event. This year we've got £100 as the first prize. Second prize we've got is a three course dinner at the Queen's. Um, and then we've got a third prize, which is a nice hamper from, um, from Jars and a hamper from Banksy as well. So the fireworks, and then we'll also do a Christmas fair hopefully this year. Brilliant. Restrictions allowing. Shoe Magnus Society is back on track. Yeah, it is. Life is, is back to normal almost. Well, almost. <laughs> Carefully normal. All of our ducks have been doubly vaccinated and they've been treated very carefully and uh, they may have a booster jab, the ducks are not sure. I think it's one of my favourite village events because it brings everybody together, all ages, all families and it's such a lovely old fashioned tradition chucking plastic down a river <laughs> and what's most great is that we're so mindful of the environment we've got more things ready to stop all the, all the debris flying down. Yeah, yeah. Um, Perhaps we should make the point that the same ducks are used every year. Oh absolutely. All same ducks are recycled. Yes, yes. We count them in the and we count them out. chucking plastic into a river. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen last year and then it was postponed from, from the summer so I think the guys just had their fingers crossed and thank goodness we've got the weather for it so hopefully it'll be a great day and hopefully I'll win. <laughs> What is it like to have this responsibility? It's terrifying. <laughs> You're just in. I said, what? I think I said, what is it? Have you named your duck? Finn. Finn? Finn? That's a great name for a duck in, in the water. Oh, Finn, it's named after you. A duck called Finn. Uh, she's got five, which is one baby in fortune. Nancy. 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 What you do with the hundred pounds if you win the duck race? What's the beers in the pub? <laughs> beers in the pub. Beers at the pub. <laughs> in True Magnus. Yes. Yeah. Money stays in the village. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. The winner of Night's Twelve Year Olds is from Rob. Charlotte Smith. Charlotte, would you mind showing me your duck, please? Which is it? Oh, that one! Where did you get that idea from? I don't know. Well done. This is a big prize. The first prize goes to Finbar Hanley. Here comes my... Oh, here he is. Well done, Finn. You've got a big prize up here, right? Was that Finn the Duck that won? Yeah. Finn the Duck won! Yay! I called it Duckin and it's, I decided to do a four-wheel dragon because I think on the race the winds might help it and blow it in the direction so it'll go faster. Ah, oh, like sails. <laughs> So we're just posting the 
putting in all the business ducks. Yeah. Hey! So there's a lot of money down there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are more business ducks here than individual ducks. What does that tell you about you, Magda? I like all the children's decorated ducks. Oh, sorry. I like all the children's decorated ducks. <laughs> sorry. We'll use that one. Can you cut the other one out? Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. They're all very even, they're all very even, but PDQC is such a new signal Here they come. Slightly slow running, slow running today. Hark up to sorting, here we go. Here we go, Eastwood Rose Curtains. Yes, we start together. And it looks like we've got our winners. They're headed, it's the first one through the gap here. Okay, they have to go through the gap here to win. Lion solicitors seem to have a good angle, along with C.W. Jones Carpets. C.W. Jones Carpets. Here we go. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Come on. It's a collision. It's a collision. It's a collision. Yes. It's it. It's done it. I mean, that goes back like the perfect race. C.W. Jones Carpets. Roll over the carpet for that one. That's fantastic. Second place is Stone Barn Landscapes, having led from the front all the way through, got picked at the post by a fitted duck. Thank you. Thank you. The main, the main race is next, kids. If you've got ducks in the race, we're going to go back there and we're going to put them in, and you could win a massive prize. Okay? So stay with us. Can you tell me, Rodney, how long you've been involved in the duck race? Um, well, quite a long time. I would guess it's um, 10 years plus, if not more. Than that. Okay. And what do you and enjoy about it? The main it's a community event. People love it. The children love it particularly. And if we can do it in conjunction with the uh, primary school, then that's an added benefit for the whole of the village. And how has it felt not to be able to do village events for so long? Oh, it would be all by been very concerning we because we felt that still people have that. not really been able to uh, get out and do anything. Minutes, so it's lovely to get them all back together again. Okay, kids, not long to wait. The duck race will be going to. Can I ask how it's going on the bar? Yeah, very You're working well hard. Actually. We're working very hard. It's going brilliantly. <laughs> Have you had any booze yourself? No. Really? No booze. Seriously? No booze. We've all been good. We've got a record number of ducks in the water this year. Isn't that amazing? All raised money for the village and for our activities in this area. Give them a break for a minute, Kiwi. Here you go. Here comes the dog. Oh, Don't take another step forward. Stand on the line. Hey! Nick! If you have bought the ducks today or before, we thank you very much for your support and we hope that you win a prize. First prize. One hundred pounds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! We've got a fast area on the left here. They're coming through quite quick. Some are stuck behind. Try and keep the rear up if we can, folks. Here we go. And here are the leaders. And the duck in the lead is 618. Claire Wood. Claire Wood, your duck is in the lead right now. And coming up strongly now in the lead is number 320. Annette Terran. Annette Terran, your duck of 407 is now in the lead. It's hard to believe they all started at the same time. This is the crescendo of the race. 297 looks firm favourite, drifting in towards the winning post. Looks like it's got a good line. I don't think it's going to be beaten. 297 is getting to the gates. Here we go. Is it 297? 
Gummy White's going twice. 297 is the winner. Charlie Norton. Ben Norton is the winner and 407 is second. Second place 407. It's Tim Hawking. And third place is 135. <laughs> Will Greenwood. Oh, he's a good rapper player. We appreciate you coming along. Please hang around and have a drink and enjoy yourself. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Do you enjoy the duck race? Yes. Ham's got sense. to be in every film I make. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine you not enjoying anything, Pam. No, we're not. I enter into the spirit of it. Don't you me. do indeed. And all the better for it. Yes.